Hi there, my name's Jack and I'm from the Papercut support team in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can delete users from Papercut. In this scenario, I've got Papercut MF on a Windows server with Papercut MF tied in with Active Directory for our user structure. So here we're in the user section and I've got a number of test students and test teachers. Okay, so how about if we want to delete one single user? Let's select student year one zero zero one. Here we can go to the actions section in the top right and simply just delete the user. That's great, but what if I want to delete multiple users in one go? I've actually already deleted student year two zero zero one to zero zero five already in Active Directory, but I need to get it out of Papercut. How do I go about this? The best way to do this is to go to options user group sync, and then scroll down to sync options. Here we have a number of different configuration options, but the one we're interested in today is delete users that do not exist in the selected source. We'll tick this and then synchronize now. Papercut will warn you that you're about to delete users in Papercut and recommend you to make a backup first. One recommendation I'd have if you've never deleted users before via manual synchronization is to scroll back up to the top of this page and look at the sync source section. From here, you can view your primary sync source. In this window scenario, this is likely to be either your entire domain or a selection of organizational units from Active Directory. In either situation, it'd be a good time now to check that this is correct and you're not going to unintentionally lose any users from Papercut. In particular, if you're aware that you've changed the section recently, or if this differs from your original Papercut installation. In this case, we're going to continue. Here, Papercut will go through user synchronization and give you a log output of what it's doing against your Active Directory. So here now, we can see we've now got 21 members from 26. You'll also see that the user that I deleted earlier has also actually been re-added as you'll see here. We can go confirm this by going to users. So our original user that I deleted has been re-added as that was not deleted in Active Directory, but because I deleted student year two, they are now all gone. There are a few things to keep in mind when deleting users from Papercut. The most important being that all of the information for a user is still stored in the Papercut database. So if you're concerned about losing any of the print logging or information about that user, and you need to re-add them at a later date, that will still be in your database. Another thing to keep in mind is that any user that is disabled within Active Directory is treated as being deleted. So if you need to just temporarily remove a user from your Papercut system, you can just simply disable him and then do an active sync and then they should be gone from your Papercut. One last caveat to keep in mind. We have the option for the database to be synchronized against Active Directory overnight as you can see once again back here. However, deleting users is exclusive on a manual synchronization. So if you need to free up users, you'll have to do this manually during the day. If you have any more questions about deleting users from Papercut, don't hesitate to contact us at support.papercut.com. Thanks for watching and see you another time.